Coach, the way that you came back with your defense and win this game, I mean, this is everything that you're trying to build here. Where is your mind right now with this one? I love these kids. They just, uh, they never cease to amaze me in both ways. Trust me. <laughs> they do some stuff where I go, what are they doing? And then they do stuff like this where they don't quit. And, uh, you know, we had that same comeback effort, you know, in Cleveland, but uh, we found a way to get over the hump right now, and I'm, I'm just proud of them. Defensively, I mean, again, eerily similar to Cleveland in that way. The second half was so much better than the first half. Sparked the offense for the comeback. What did you see defensively? Uh, less mental mistakes, more urgency, more competition. Um, you know, uh, guys are really working together, talking, helping each other. One of the most incredible things about this game, you've got eight healthy players by the end of it. You've got one point guard, and then you've got a center who's hardly played all season long and these end up being your stars of the game tonight. I mean, what can you say about what you got from Moody and Cornette? Well, you know, I, like I said, I got a lot of confidence in Mud. He, um, he continues to get better and better and, and he continues to grow as a guard. Um, I, and I just thought he was really clutch. I thought that three was going down on that one. But, um, you know, and Luke, you know, he's, it's a testament to our, our player development. Uh, Coach Miller in the G League and, and Luke's work ethic, uh, you know, he's just like the rest of these guys. Numbers called, he's ready. You know, he hadn't been called on a lot this year, uh, and he's kept himself ready and mentally ready, and when I throw him out there, he took care of business. I mean, with Luke, do you think maybe his mind was freer, you know, the transaction was made yesterday, you know? It's, it's maybe. You know, but I haven't even really given him a, a real shot yet, you know, and so, um, Right when I got here, when I got the job, I immediately working him out. I said, "Man, I like this kid. He's got, you know, he's got something different than our other big guys." And um, you know, that's a good change up for us. And it's just, you know, it's a numbers game for us, trying to find minutes for each guy. And it just, you know, it's getting to the point where some opportunities opened up, and, and I can get Luke in there, and he really, really helped us. This morning about needing those. You know, when you're going through a rough patch, you need one of these yeah, wins. Yeah. Yeah. Look early on the game. Timeout. Timeout. Trying to stop. <laughs> Yeah, you know, I got to figure out how to get these starts together. And, and it's, it's somewhere in there we're letting go of the rope early and then we regain it and, and we make it a game all of a sudden. And so I got to figure that out uh, on how we can get these guys uh, starting better. Um, but like I said, I'm just proud of the way they keep fighting. Is Luke underrated as a shot blocker? I mean, does yeah, he, he is. He's very, he's got good anticipation. You know, he's not a guy that he, he can only jump over an envelope, but. You know, he's got those long arms and he's got a lot of anticipation, uh, real good anticipation. But he's going he's gonna to be mad I said that because he got a tip dunk tonight. So he showed he got a little hops. Moutier also said that people don't recognize how smart Luke is as a player. What, what is it about his IQ that allows him to get into a game like this and what produce? What really helped us tonight was um, getting us to a second situation. Um, you know, in that first half, it was like every single guy that got the ball was like, okay, I'm going to take this shot. It's my turn. And so after I went off him in a timeout on him about sharing the game, I threw Luke in there. And Luke is a natural at getting the ball to another guy and getting to another pick and roll. And so that's where he really got us moving and generating our offense. With him, I think, pretty much straight down the stretch instead of Is that just what, another, what you've done before, riding guys? Yeah, if it's rolling, it's rolling, you know. And, uh, at the, and really, we was down to so our numbers were so dwindled. Um, you know, I, I, I kept Courtney, Lee, and Mario in there for a while. They really got us right where we needed to get Tim and, and Kevin to bring us home. But, you know, I just went with the two bigs because they were really doing a great job at guarding the three and protecting the rim. So what's Mitchell's situation with his ankle? Uh, sprain, I think x-rays were negative, right? Um, and we'll see. You know, we got to figure out something with these ankles of his. And what about Frank? Mild sprain, and we'll, we'll uh, reevaluate it tomorrow. So Mitchell could be out for I don't know. You know these 20-year-olds. You know how you used to heal when you was 20. <laughs> <laughs>